capacity with very simple things but very complex, we're going to have a chance to have 15 minutes where we are going to be the star for ourselves inside. Not for anybody who are watching, but for yourself inside. And in order to do that, we have to have a little bit of a discipline because a little weird. We're going to have a blasting sound, very good sound, but at the same time we are not going to respond to the sound only once. And we are going to completely avoid that we are listening to the sound, avoiding that you are seeing the people around, knowing the positions and where you're going, stay there, and there's a small little choreography that you're going to repeat. But everything is really concentrated on yourself. There will be one song that we are going to be joining in the middle, not coming from one area to another, but the areas that you are, you come to the middle, and you can dance to that song, and when that, that song ends, comes another that is very popular and it is very challenging to continue the dance but we come back to the same positions that we were before and you concentrate on ourselves you can breathe you can find a good comfortable way to maintain I maintain myself this way because it helps just to pretend that I'm relaxed you know but in reality, what you are trying to do is like clear for this that 15 minutes and the effect outside of yourself is much bigger than you think. Because in the midst of all that talk, in the midst of all that kind of a sound, the sound is stimulating, it's a challenge. If someone smile at you because at some moment you're going to be very close to the, to the people, you really have to maintain that yourself I am completely different. I don't want to give direction how to do that because that's unfair. Find within yourself the maximum ways, the many ways that you have to make yourself oblivious and completely above everything for those 15 minutes. And only one song we dance, and then in the last song, and we just move out of the place and go back to the dressing room and quickly come back for people to see us, but let's get out so we finalize the ritual. And today, we don't want to rehearse too much because what happens is we begin to have an expectations of to do the right thing. And I'm allowing even the movements that we're going to have there be so flexible. If one, one is behind the other, not so fast, man, nothing is wrong. There will be some turning that if you don't do all at the same time, there's no problem. But keep yourself aware with yourself and within your surround of the performance. That's your parameters. Your fellow friends around the inside of the performance and yourself. The fellow friends to know what, if what they are doing, if you forgot, if you are so zen that you spend the whole time there, <laughs> suddenly you go, mm. and you just stay there and wait for me, and go then I get you like in the religious revival. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> but that's the challenge because it's very hard. What's going to happen, you're going to do in pairs. Okay, we're going to come into here. And I'm going to this now. Ah, hello, sweetheart. Nice article, she newspaper. Did. Thank you. <laughs> we are concentrating here because we are, I don't repeat the word, but she'll get it. So we'll be pairs, okay? And we don't know who's who's. We don't know who is who yet, with who. Uh, we determine now, uh, someone is a piece of paper. Uh, we determine now in something else. We have Leah want to bring all the clothing from downstairs and you're going to learn the numbers and when you finish the performance here then you come to this room and go back there you put your stuff right in the right place so they can be taken downstairs and placed on the wall because it's a little exhibition and then for the end of the month when you come to pick it up that's in the end that's something else you don't have to choreograph but for tomorrow to not waste time as soon as the performance is over we go there which will be 3.15 you go there, by 2 feet when we are back here, we spend like 20 minutes and we go back and begin to undo ourselves and put these things right on the, on the hangers. And that's the plan, okay? So right now let's divide, let's get up and divide the groups into whoever is here. The, poison, the, the costume that we're wearing or the beauty that we presented ourselves 
and people from the outside will be able to even to see better due to the way you're going to portray yourself so relaxed and so far away removed from that reality that the people of the ones who are talking. Do I make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are completely self guided by ourselves and maybe if there are some movements that you're going to see that would be helpful to turn on your side to see if the people are moving, uh, you can guide yourself. Another word, there will be moments that I'm going to you'll be facing the audience this way and spend a few seconds of a second because the, the whole performance is only 15 minutes. And then you turn to the other, to the middle, and then you turn to the other in, in, in like very, maybe during the 15 minutes you move three times that way, which makes six turns in one way to the other. But if no, if everybody goes at the same time, it's perfect. If people take going different times, it's like the clock. They have different, the old clocks have different wheels. So there is no mistake. If you forget about something, there is no verbal things to be said. Say there is no mistake. Just really relax. It's really, um, it's like really challenging to go and listen all that that music and not trying to to dance or <laughs> smile to a friend and don't acknowledge if someone smiles at you in front of you, you don't smile back because first the makeup will help you immediately when you put that kind of makeup, make you be completely. Yeah, you just feel completely different. So you don't have that kind of easiness of, and people look at you differently. So like little kids when they say, hi, Julie. <laughs> we, <don't, laughs> we can't do that. We just, if Julie's there, if someone is dying there, it's just, oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and you, <laughs> And you saw we, how the way we worked. We worked like mad. We had an incredible confusion, but an incredible organization because we knew that we had to cut the cardboard. Every little, every time I walk into the gallery, I see those pieces of cardboard. I say, well, a hand did it. So, man, it was a lot of work and it's time to have peace. Okay, let's, let me help Heather to go. Heather, I think, let's go.
I... <laughs>
Everybody's talking at me I don't hear words they're saying Only the echoes of the joy Thank you.